As they say, when the goings get tough, Lauren Boebert moves where it's easier to win. What happened? Let's go in order. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my take on why Bobo is you hauling it out of the district. The ultra MAGA Republican who, for the last few years, told the world that she was fighting hard for the rights of her constituents, announced in this video, which for some reason she recorded in her kitchen, that she was leaving District 3 for District 4. Meanwhile, in unrelated political news, her opponent Adam Frisch has been out fundraising her three to one. That's probably when Bobo realized that winning in her district is becoming nearly impossible and it might be easier to win in the district let vacant by retiring representative Cam Buck. In this announcement, Bobo said that she made the decision after lots and lots of praying because she's a fervent follower of the precepts of the Bible as we can clearly tell by these images. She also said that she's making this decision because she wants to make sure that the Republicans don't lose the congressional seat of the third district. Mm, now, nah. Bobo, we know you're not the brightest pen in the vape shop, but don't come at us thinking that we have an IQ in the single digits like you. If your true desire were to save a Republican congressional seat, you would just step aside and not move to a district that has a Cook partisan index of Republican plus 13. A district that is so heavily GOP leaning that they would vote for this junkyard beater just because it's Republican red and incidentally probably would legislate better than you. If you were truly interested in maintaining a seat for the GOP, you would stay in Pueblo and fight. But what you're really interested in, Bobo, is to retain power. And you know that the moment you're no longer a member of Congress is also the moment you stop being relevant and stop being able to curry favors for those who line your pockets. But here's my take. Bobo didn't decide to move. She was told by somebody in the GOP to move out of the way and let the district free for somebody that can actually challenge Frisch. The proof of my theory is in the fact that while officially Colorado Republicans are telling everybody that they said to Bobo that leaving her district would be a mistake, Cook Political Report, as a result of that move, is now changing the outlook of District 3 in Colorado from a toss-up to leaning Republican. Meanwhile, the GOP leadership doesn't really care what Bobo will do after she leaves District 3. District 4 is for sure going to be a Republican seat. It's a crowded space as it is, and the odds of Bobo winning that primary are slim to none right now. This is not the decision of a shrewd, bright lawmaker trying to position its party to win as many seats as possible. It's a desperate Hail Mary by a political hack to try to save the few strands of political influence she has left before she fades into a well-deserved public service oblivion.